Hello and welcome. Do you have a reservation with us today? Excellent. Well, my name is Matt, and from this point forward, I will be your receptionist and your personal concierge. Now, I will primarily be checking you in. Can we start by taking your first and your surname? And if you could spell that for me, I'd be eternally grateful. Okay. Ah, yes. You have our one and only emperor. Sweet. Well, I would like to congratulate you on for the next four nights being ready to experience one of the most premier and luxurious hotel suites in the world. All right. Now, before we go any further, I feel like I have to add a small disclaimer. You will no doubt have seen from our reviews online that while our hotel is excellence in every sense of the word, our check-in process can take up to 40 minutes. However, if you have the time to read some of these reviews, you will have noticed that while the check-in process is lengthy, it can be one of the most relaxing experiences you are likely to have in your entire life. Bold, I know, but we pride ourselves on offering a service here at Hotel Articulate that is not only unparalleled, but is unheard of. So, while your check-in has now been confirmed, I will be taking you through, I'm talking you through your room primarily, once we have a, a bit of a rundown of, of what the room looks like and the layout, then I might talk you through a couple of the choice, the choice items that you'll find inside the room. And obviously, the Emperor Suite is extraordinarily large, and we wouldn't want you to miss any of these key features. Okay? Now, as you approached our establishment, you will have noticed the, to the westernmost wing, what you were actually seeing was your own suite. Of course, you will have noted it was entirely private, but the actual structure to the left-hand side and the glorious architecture behind it will be yours to peruse as you see fit. Now, let me just print the room key. suite, as mentioned, is glorious, enormous, perfectly decorated, multiple interiors, multiple themes, and an overall ambiance that promotes heavily the idea of relaxation. Hotel Articulate prides itself in all of its rooms from our standard suites to our emperor suite. We pride ourselves in the ability to deliver and ensure relaxation. Okay? I'd also like to stress that your happiness, your stress-free mentality is our responsibility. Okay? And it's our absolute pleasure. Now, before we go any further, I'd like to offer you a ice-cold glass of very natural mineral water to refresh and cleanse, okay? Now, our water. Our water is actually drawn direct from our very own spring. So 
So we do have our own water supply. How does it taste? Like nothing you've ever tasted before. Well, I am very glad to hear you say that. It has a it has a flavor to it, doesn't it? But very pleasant, nonetheless. It's unusual for water. But it has a, a deliciously refreshing, but it definitely has something to it. It's beautiful. Now, before we get on to, we'll, we'll book your initial meal for tonight, and then we can take it on a case-by-case -case basis. You can come down and see me tomorrow at any point. I'll be here waiting for you, and we can book your meal for tomorrow. I encourage this because our specials change on a day-by-day -day basis. If you choose, we do have a menu that you can book for the four nights that you're here. But again, my recommendation would be on a case-by-case -case basis. Perfect. Okay. Before we get to the meal, I'd like to take you through some of these um, feature points of the rooms. Now, bedrooms one and two, if you look at the side here, you'll see one and two. Now, these are brother and sister rooms in the sense that they were designed by the same architect and the same interior designer. They have a, a similar theme to them. They have a blue moon base color, complemented by an egg shell. And again, relaxation is a very, very heavy emphasis here. When they were creating these two rooms, they wanted to create a subtlety, but a very direct response to your brain to say, look, this is relaxation in room format. Now, rooms one and two do have an adjoining door. Now, unlike any other hotel room you may have stayed in <clears throat> that have a an adjoining door quite often the new the, the noise is very prevalent between one room to the next not so at hotel articulate and this doesn't just apply to our emperor suite again this is consistent throughout our doors are reinforced three times and not a peep can transfer from room to room you could be playing a stereo and you wouldn't hear anything. The sound is entirely isolated. So if you were to be checking in with kids and they were playing the Xbox or the PS4 in room two, room one would be none the wiser. And you should see the delight on some children's face when they learn of this. <laughs> okay, now moving on to room three. This is beach facing, of course, and it was created with a Greek Mediterranean feel in mind what I because you are checking in as, as just yourself what I would recommend is having a, a night in each room each is a different experience one and two are more similar three and four are entirely different and can provide their own experience okay now room four is more of a warmth more of a a richness to it, a comfort that is prevalent again in every all four of the rooms, but to me room four just exuberates that that relaxation, that 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 deep kind of warmth to it. You'll know what I mean when you step into it. Okay? Now the Emperor Suite, while having four bedrooms, also comes equipped with five bathrooms. Now the chief architect designing the Emperor Suite it was actually an Emirati he, was a, an, he actually lived in Dubai and this is quite commonplace for a hotel in Dubai or for a, an accommodation in Dubai to have one more bathroom than the number of bedrooms and he kept that consistent here so you're never going to be able to fill five bathrooms but maybe you like a change of scenery okay absolutely you're going to love it. Now, before we go any further, we 
Now this, for me, sometimes it's nice to kind of revisit childhood. These little sweets are actually made by a specialist supplier. I'd very much like for you to try one. They are very sweet. And you will find a whole jar full of these in your room. I would say if by some miracle you don't like them, we can change them. But I have yet to meet anybody who didn't enjoy these little gummy sweets. And they taste nothing like any other gummy either, if you're not a fan of gummy sweets. Yes, juicy, refreshing, but delicious. As expected. Now, I'd like to talk you through some of the features in the room. Now, because our hotel does emphasize relaxation, you'll be leaving reception with a little relaxation kit that we like to call. Now, your bags and your cases will be taken to the room for you. And your little relaxation kit, we'd like you to take that to the room. It's almost like signifying the beginning of an adventure, okay? Before we can have any kind of relaxation adventure, we issue you with a hand knitted woolen cloth. Now, this is the softest wool, and this blanket is yours to keep. So you'll be issuing, and of course, the water on tap is actually drawn directly from our spring. It's run through a filtration system, so it's entirely clean, entirely healthy. But we also issue you with a little hot chocolate canister. Now this is a double cream Belgian hot chocolate, and this will stay hot for up to 24 hours. And there's 1.5 liters in here for you. Okay. It's for you. It is my absolute pleasure. Now, next item that I'd like to provide to you. And this is my little secret for guaranteed restful and restorative sleep. Bottle green plum summer cordial. Now, what I would recommend is that you add a dash of this to some water, and it's very concentrated. I wouldn't advise drinking it neat, but a dash of this. some ice cold water. Surprisingly, it will make you very, very sleepy. Now, ordinarily we associate a warm drink with sleep, but for one reason or another, I am no scientist. Drinking this with cold water just will have you out like a light. You also notice that in each of the four rooms, there is a 56 inch TV and in the main living room we have a 84 inch which is essentially the entire wall it's a plasma home cinema screen and in each of the rooms you will find preloaded a whole library full of ASMR creators and their most popular and in some cases, popular videos 
for your perusal. Any ASMR creator you could name, I guarantee we have a video for them. All paid for and licensed. And again, even if you're not an ASMR fan, I encourage you to check out some of these videos because if you've ever struggled with sleep, these videos will, along with the cordial, send you right off. My guarantees. Okay. Well, while we will do all your cooking for you, and every meal is catered for, we added this. You'll find that next to each bed, there's a cabinet. Now, this is something as a bit of a quirk that we do, but you'll find this little cabinet in particular stocked with naked noodle. Now, naked noodles, they're egg noodles, and this particular brand is a Thai curry. And they take a very, very creamy coconut milk as its base, and it's blended with just a little bit of coriander and also supported and supplemented by some garlic. And together, considering this is what we would call fast food, it is gourmet fast food. In fact, Naked Noodle is something that if you had served me for the first time in a bowl, I would assume you had made these noodles an hour ago. They taste that fresh, they're that full of flavor, and for one reason or another, through market research, we found that having a little stash full of uh, home treats and comfort food, people just feel more relaxed. You don't have to eat it, you don't have to use it. Room service is prepaid, you can pick up the phone and order whatever you like. But for one reason or another, we found that Customers seem to like just being able to reach back into normality, grabbing a quick noodle stop and just chowing down. Okay. Now, with the little treats provided, what I'd like to do next is issue you with your room card. Now, our rooms do not have numbers, they have names. You are in the Emperor Suite, which of course is Alexander. Thank you. If you were to misplace your card at any time, just give me a call and we'll uh, replace it immediately. No questions asked. All right, good. Now, We have the room prepared. We've talked you through the makeup of the room. What I'd like to do now is have your first evening meal with us mapped out. I'll issue you with a menu. Okay. We can go through it together. And I can provide my recommendations. Now, we cater for vegetarian, vegan, pescatarian, carnivores. We do the lot. We are a Michelin star restaurant, and our team of very well trained and very accomplished chefs are very eager to please. Now, if we look in Page one, appetizers, what I would suggest, depending on how hungry you are. Now, I'm the kind of person that will order a sharing platter for myself. Now, I'm quite partial to a cold meats, olives, bread, and some homemade butter. It's a personal recommendation. We obviously have three pages of appetizers for you to try and select. 
personal recommendation is the sharing platter. It's cold meats, some beautiful parma ham on there. And the bread that we provide with it, mm. it's literally taken out of the oven about 10 minutes before it's brought to your room. Now you can't eat in a restaurant if you choose, but generally we assume that people would prefer to eat in their room. Of course we do have a, that the Emperor's Suite comes with a main room, and a dining room. The dining room, of course, seat 16. I've never seen 16 sitting down in the Emperor's Suite. It's usually just one or two. But, uh, yeah, again, if you want to eat inside the restaurant, that's not a problem. We also have a beautiful, what's called Cullen Skink, to start. Now, Cullen Skink is actually a Scottish dish. And it's um, fish, with a milky base, milky creaminess to it. Onion, a little bit of leek in some cases, a little bit of potato in there as well, and it's a, a warming, a very wintry dish, in my opinion. It's quite, it's, it has a, a, a very prevalent sea fish taste to it, but it also is complemented very well by the milkiness of the base. It's a beautiful little dish, it's playful. Okay, sure. No, absolutely. So we have a very, very long list. Sure. Salt and pepper chicken is one of my favorite appetizers. Again, it's quite light, but it's fiery. It has a lot of depth and a lot of richness to it. Salt and pepper chicken. Good. Okay. And the main course depending on how hungry you are. Personal recommendation for me is and will always be. Having said that, I've seen myself default to a ribeye steak quite recently. I had a very wonderful experience at Christmas with my family. I was trying ribeye for the very first time and it was a marbled steak. It's not quite on the level of a Wagyu. We do sell Wagyu though and if I had to choose a steak to eat right now, I'd probably go for the ribeye. Maybe with a nice peppercorn sauce or perhaps a blue cheese sauce. Maybe even a Diane sauce. Mm -hmm. We have a beautiful lamb shank cooked with a rosemary jus. Beautiful dish. We have the risotto. The risotto, can we make all our own pasta? has a garlic base to it, a lot of herbs, you can uh, finish with a little bit of parsley, it's a beautiful meal, quite filling, if I'm honest, I think we serve a little bit too much risotto, I've seen our, our patrons fill up on a little bit too much pasta, and then while they would like a dessert, just have no room for it, <laughs> okay, okay, sure, put you down for that. Cashew nuts always make for an interesting addition to, uh, to any meal. Our chefs uh, include a whole variety, a whole host. Pine nuts, cashew nuts, even some monkey nuts in, in some cases. Okay. The desserts we can leave until after your meal. And if you feel that you're hungry still, then... When our waiter comes to clear the table from your room, he can leave you with a, a menu there and you can decide at that point. But I've got you for a starter and the main course. Marvelous. Very good. It's a fantastic selection and I think you can enjoy it. In fact, I guarantee it. <laughs> okay. How are we doing? point I would like to serve up something a little bit different. These are coconut pieces. Now these have a sweetness to them that is 
almost unbelievable. Try. I largely join you here because I always need to remind myself how something so small can provide so much cocody goodness. And I've heard people say, I don't like coconut. And then I convince them to try it, and they absolutely love it. Be my guest. You are our guest. You can imagine this was full at the start of the day. <laughs> mm. Absolutely lovely. Let me top up your glass of water. Very tasty, very sweet, very Moorish. There's an entire bag of these in each of the bedrooms. Don't worry. We like to give little samples of things you can expect to experience as you move forward. Okay? Now, we've talked you through the room. Some of the relaxation package that we send you away with we have now booked the first night's evening meal. All that's left is for you to have a think about some of the activities that you might want to partake during your four nights stay with us. Okay, now I'll provide you with a brochure. And what I would recommend I would personally recommend is try something that you wouldn't ordinarily see yourself doing. Maybe it's something you wouldn't even, it, doesn't, it might not even sound fun, it might not even sound relaxing. You have four nights with us. One of those four nights, I want to see you challenging yourself. And when I say challenge yourself, I mean take a dance class, try archery. Try skiing in our indoor ski center with real snow, I might add. Courtesy again of the same Emirati architect. Of course. The archery? Oh, no? Okay. I'll take a note of that. Do you know we also do a really insightful pottery class? Have you ever seen the, the movie Ghost? Okay, it's that, it's not that, but it's, it is a spinning wheel, or a turn wheel, and everyone that tries it cannot speak highly enough of it. So I would really encourage you just to try something different, because it's okay. The dance classes offer a variety. You'll do a little bit of everything. You could do a little bit of salsa, a little bit of Charleston. Now, I, da I don't dance. In fact, I really dislike dancing. But despite of that fact, I still have fun at our classes. A lot of fun, actually. An absolute must for me, and a recommendation, would be the quad biking marathon. Now, the Emperor Suite, of course, actually has its own private quad bikes and four individual jet skis will be chained to your own private jetty leading off of room three into the beach, okay? And the lockup you'll find the quad bikes. Now our quad bike marathon is a route that you can follow if you sign up to it. We basically reserve that route for you for the next four hours there's nothing that it's quite a thin track and there's nothing worse than when you're experiencing something magical but you're very conscious that there's a time constraint or there's people behind you that want you to hurry up so we book the entire course the entire route for you and lock it down all you have to do is sign up for it okay and what day 
it's not a problem. Mm -hmm. Alright. It runs year round because the quad bikes obviously are. There are occasions in the real kind of depths of winter, if we get a lot of snowfall, when you go out to the Emperor's Suite, you would find snowmobiles in place of quad bikes. We're not at that position quite yet. Quad bikes can, can get through about anything. I will, of course, remind you to make sure you wear your helmet at all times on the quad bike. Now, it's something that you might never have tried, and it might sound incredibly boring. Fishing. Now, of course, we'll give you your own mini yacht to take out onto our... It's a private beach, and we own about five kilometers of the stretch, but it does eventually reach the ocean. Now, we can issue you your own captain that can sail you from sort of little islands dotted around. Most of them are man-made, but all have something interesting at the heart of it. Some have little bars on them. You can just sail up, dock, Go up to the bar. Of course, because these bars belong to us, it's all inclusive. Get yourself a nice pina colada. Or maybe a mocktail pina colada. Something refreshing. Sit back and relax. Head back to the boat. To do a spot of fishing. And we can actually cook any fish that you catch, if you so choose. And they'll be prepared expertly. If you don't fancy fishing, we, of course, do hand gliding. Hand gliding is quite adrenaline packed, but the sight and the view, quite magnificent. Of course. Yes, I'll put you down. Now, this is something a little bit unconventional and something that if you'd asked me to do this as a child or watch it as a child, I would have found it quite boring glass blowing. Now, you will of course get to partake as well as just watch, but glass blowing is uh, obviously a very old technique, but it's interesting and surprisingly satisfying. And any glass that you create, no matter how imperfect it might be, you'll get to take away with you. And if glass blowing doesn't quite sound like your kind of thing, Understandably so. We also offer a Japanese tea ceremony. It's uh, in the right atrium, just off our center reception. And this is a private booking again. It'll be you and tea sermon. And I'll take you through the ceremony, try the tea, perform your little ritual. And you can choose not to actually recreate the ritual. You can just choose to observe. That's kind of what I prefer. I don't really like the pressure of doing it right or wrong. Some people love to get involved and do it, and that's fine. But I like just to watch and then sample the tea at the end. Naomi-san will be very grateful. She's a lovely human being. And, of course, you don't need to know any Japanese. One little tip. It's not konnichiwa. It's konnichiwa. Okay, good, all right, okay, we can hold it there, I appreciate we've just covered quite a lot, and no doubt you're desperate to get to the jacuzzi, of course, Morning. you have a note of absolutely everything, something else to note before you do head off, there is an espresso machine in each of the bedrooms, that's a given, but some people are still very excited by that fact. I'm one of those people. But I thought I should reference it. No, it's been my absolute pleasure. I hope this has been as relaxing as some of our reviews and comments would seem to suggest. My name is Matt. Yes. Well, this is Hotel Articulate. 
and no matter what happens, we do everything we can to ensure and provide you with a relaxing and restorative stay. Please do take care. I'll see you soon, and if you need anything at all, anything, give me a call. Just pick up the number in any of the, any one of the rooms. Pick up the phone, hit four, and you'll be put through to me. All right. Thank you. I see you very soon, and I really hope you enjoy tonight's meal. I think you picked very wisely. <laughs> of course. Yes. If you want to change your mind at any point, if there's anything else, maybe you just like to, to cancel everything and see if you feel different tomorrow, just let me know. Okay, there's no cost associated with anything. The room's paid for, the activities are included, all the food and the drinks, everything is all inclusive. We provide almost a cruise-like mentality here that we encourage you to try everything. Okay? If you want to try the helicopter ride, let us know. We have some beautiful views here. Sitting in the foothills as we are, uh, some of the, the skyscapes and the backdrops are just quite simply magnificent. <sighs> no, not at all. Well, I think we're... Um, what time is it? We're not far from the 40-minute mark. Our estimations are always very, very close. If not... Yes. No, your breakfast is, is, yeah, your breakfast can be taken to your room. It can be eaten in the breakfast suite. Yes. Continental is always an offer, and our chefs will happily bake you anything you could think of. If you want a stack of 16 pancakes, it's yours. Yes. No, your butler will... Hmm. When you get into the room... This is in the little pamphlet. When you get into the room, you can just set a little timer as to what time you would like our butler to wake you up or to provide you dinner and uh, your breakfast. Yes. <laughs> sure. 